What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. No power, but a crater hoof. Crater hoof. Got a mono big guano green big dumb idiots. Have fun and smash all the face from Zimini Pot. I think crater hoof's a good way to start. So let's crater hoof. And a Rafellos? Okay. So you're basically saying do the mono green deck. Sounds good. I'm gonna go shut the door because Hunter rudely left. All right. I mean, hoof into. Rafellos is a pretty good start for the mono green deck. It's a turn four hoof. Oh, what's up, Seacoop? Good seeing you, buddy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think it could be Sneak Attack here. I think it's significantly better than Sakura Tribelder, and it kind of rewards us for... I mean, I would take I would take Tribelder over Signet every day, mainly because we have a card called Crater Hoof, which rewards us for having more creatures, and we have a card called Rafellos, which rewards us for having more forests. So both of these cards interact better with Screw Tribal than they do with Civic Signet. That being said, Sneak Attack is uh, it's pretty good. So Oh, Nissa and Corsair. Also, plus points for the beat down on me. Hey, buddy, listen. Just gotta, I gotta keep Twitch chat lethal in line. Sometimes I think, I think Nissa's better than Corsair. Corsair might come back. I don't think Nissa will. This is better than horse here. I said coarser, not horse here. Oh my god. These I feel like these picks are going significantly slower than they should be. Like, we just fired up immediately, and it's been four minutes for four picks. Okay. Okay, so we have Sneak Attack. We're definitely taking Emrakul. Ideally, Eternal Witness wheels. But... We're going to live the dream. Ulamog also good. You really want the Annihilator boys, though. I'm going to take Avenger because of that. Those Annihilator boys are at it again. Oh, Codus Lobra, but also Wooded Foothills, which seems perfect for this deck. But Lotus Cobra also produces red, so 
What can you do? Finale? Finale's got to be on the Wall of Blossoms. Especially if we if we go finale into channel uh, into into Emrakul, that'd be kind of cool, right? I mean, we're ideally hoping to get channel here for this for this beautiful Emrakul. I mean, the dorks. There's three. We got three packs. We'll be all right. I ain't worried about it. Banefire. Banefire. I'll take Mask Worm. We have, we have Sneak Attack. What the hell? We right here. Oh man, see that's solid. Yeah, Flame Tongue Kavu, sure. Copper Line Gorge. That's where. That's that's what we're talking about. Someone did take Corsair, unfortunately. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Bird of Paradise here. It uh, casts red cards, and that's really what we're looking for. Oh, Primeval Titan? Okay. That also casts red cards. Yep, that's a dude. So now we just think we filled in our, our one, our six, and so we have a one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we'll draw a tree speaker. It's probably better for us than Elder Gargroth. Although I love an Elder an Elder Gargroth. Oh, Seven Library? Alright, these are just easy picks. Also an Oko and a Dak, two of the better vintage cube cards. Oh, Odysseus, what up, buddy? Thank you. Welcome back, my dude. Good seeing you. I don't think we have any... We have Bird and Lotus Cobra for Oko. I think it's still Sylvan Library. Ugh. It hurts, but... We're already splashing for a sneak attack. Also, Banefire is good with Channel. You just kill him. Oh, Wall of Roots is good. Dragon Lord of Tarka is also pretty cool. I think Wall of Roots is a little more important. We already have Avenger, Primeval, Crater Hoof, and Emrakul. So, if you had to choose between a push up and a sit up, how many hot dogs keep in. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear. <laughs> for some unspecified reason happy to help host you and my wife is a pastry chef oh man and how canadian is it to even offer that so canadian 
Love it. I'm going to take Gilded Goose here. Could have also taken Harmonize. Yeah, we're going to Guy's Cradle. <laughs> Land of War Elf is great. Tireless Tracker is great. I would like Progenus to table just in case we get Natural Order, but Guy's Cradle is just a a banger. Oh, look, a Kozilek. <laughs> we got a sneak attack. So I'll take another Annihilator. Zimini Pot. This was actually meant to be yours, but then we got these two red cards. We first picked Crater Hoof, and we first picked Rafelos. I don't know if that's okay, though. I think Dark Dusk, I guess. Oh, Skull Clamp? I don't hate a Skull Clamp, but also, have a good night. I didn't even realize you were going to bed. Have a good night, my dude. Refund will be in the mail. Yeah, just make sure and let me know how terrible you feel in the in the YouTube comments. That's all I really want. I'll allow it, and I'll stay up to watch how this plays out. Just fire another commander match. Oh, all right. All right. I figured if you want uh, big, dumb idiots, have fun and smash all the face. I figured that was a, there was a good way to do it was with Emrakul and Kozilek. And first picking Crater Huff, of course, but... Scootin' dootin' doo 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 Oh, Renin Six? Wow, that's a surprisingly late Renin Six that I might even play. I would like that stomping ground to wheel. Dak Faden came back. That's pretty wild. Oko did not. Atarka, though. Oh, crucible. All right. Well, looks like no stomping ground. Bizarre of big. Come on, channel. I got Kozilek and Emrakul. This is a stipped raft. It's true. I'm going to call it mostly green. Okay, there's no channel in here. Nor is there a taiga. Are there any fetch lands in the format? Are you being serious right now, Mark? I mean, I could actually take Breeding Pool because it is a forest for Rafelos, but it also might let us splash Dak if we get any kind of green fetch land. It's either that or like Avacyn's Pilgrim, and I don't think Avacyn's Pilgrim really does anything for us. <laughs> now, I'd rather have Breeding Pool because we have a blue card than Overgrown and we have no black cards. I mean, Casualties of War, A, we don't have it. Oh, it, I mean, guess we do. But it's also double black. I'd much rather have a, a Dak Faden that's single blue than a double black. I understand. Well, I'm taking that. Channel third pick? No channel. Huh. None of these cards are even exciting. I'll take scavenging news just for the hell of it. No. <laughs> <sighs> Every time. <laughs> yeah. You're like, hey, splash for the casualties. I'm like, oh, we don't have any black, buddy. We can't just splash for casualties. Well, did you want a mox jet, stupid? Uh, I did. I did. Okay, we don't actually have Acidic Slime or Rex Sage. So I'm just taking this Ancient Grudge because it's main deckable. And I bet Huntmaster or Whisper would come back. Thank you. 
Blood Crypt is actually pretty interesting. It might actually, maybe Survival is good too. Like, I don't want to splash a black card. I think we just have a Mox. I think it's actually Survival here. I mean, being able to search out any of these guys, like if we have sneak attack, being able to turn like Jiraga Tree Speaker into a Kozilek is friggin' insane. Oh yeah, we're taking we're taking Raging Ravine here. Easy Ravine. Um, Turn Timber Symbiosis is actually great too. We have these guys. Yeah, I'll take Turn Timber. We do need like three more playables. We did not get the channel we were looking for. Fracture Fiction might just be playable. <laughs> I guess we splash it off like Breeding Pool, Gilded Goose, Bird of Paradise, Lotus Cobra. What does Marsh Flats get us? Nothing, right? I'll take a Missy Mortars. I mean, if we're playing Foff, we might as well also play Dak. We're splashing off a Breeding Pool. I'd really like a a green fetch land, but... Oh, wow. Dryad is fantastic. I'd much rather have Dryad than Bloodbraid Elf here, because Dryad actually fixes our mana for, for a lot of cards. Huntmaster came back too. Take Fire Ice. All right, now we actually need a cut. That's wild. Might even cut Renin 6. We have no lands that are going to the graveyard, so it's actually just not super impressive here. If we had one or two fetch lands, I'd definitely consider it, but... I mean, I'm almost tempted to cut Factor Fiction and put in, like... But we're playing Dak 2, I guess. So I had one island. I think that's good, because we don't have a way to get it, I guess. We, we still have a... It still just increases our, our island count. Uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, eight. This seems correct. And this is also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inspiring Vantage, what are you doing in here? Yeah, this seems good. Interesting. Oh, oh no! Turn Timber Symbiosis. Because I always forget. Chaos Theory, have a good night, buddy. Wait, what did we put in if not this? Probably something after... Yeah, okay, so something... Yep, that. Cool. Let's do it. Next turn, Sylvan Library into uh, leveling up seems good. Double blue, huh? 
Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. We're doing it. This is where they kill this guy. Ready? Solemn Simulacrum. You're letting me untap with five mana? One, two, three, four. Um, put on top, pay four to keep. Play the red. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven mana next turn. So we can actually Dragon Lord of Tarka. Okay, get your Lotus or your Soul Ring. One of the two. There it is. <laughs> Never fails. But they did not play their Lotus. I like Anissa here. Put on top. Put on top. I'm not I'm not I'm not really in the business of using a bunch of lands if I don't have to. So one, two, three, four, five. Play a land, Nissa. Interesting. I like this. Untap land, we can attack. And then we can factor fiction still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana too. So if we hit just like cause like naturally, we can play that dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's your boy. Black Holes McLotus. Oh, went to the trash can for more blue. We're going to upheaval here. It's nine mana. Yep. Ugin. Oh, shit. Yep, minus five on Ugin is pretty good. We do get to keep our forest, though, which is kind of cool. So this is one, two, three, four mana. We're just going to have four mana, four straight up mana. Play land? No. <sighs> Taking this pile. Yep. Let's get rid of the Ugin main. One, two. Lotus Cobra. Uh, out of green. Daki boy. Gain this. That's a good turn. That's okay. Yeah, sure. Ancient Grudge off the top. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. I should choose myself. Oh, we're just gonna win the game. Did they realize I could steal this next turn? I don't. That was interesting. 
Okie dokie. Eh, seems good. Ancient Grudge of the main deck seems nice. Um, just gonna submit like this, I guess. This hand is pretty unimpressive. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I think we mull this hand. Mm, see, this is a significantly better hand. Let's ship a land and not a Gaia's Cradle. What the fuck? What? What happened? Lotus into Twister? Why even? That's weird. Oh well, first turn Sylvan Library seems better than your start, so that's weird. Red source? Give me a red source. Oh wow, Copperline Gorge is perfect. Um... Oh, dang it. Yep. Um, I'll pay four, and I'll put this guy on top. I mean, they missed the land drop, so that's pretty wild. <laughs> okay. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was a good run. We had a good run. Uh, keep. Who did let green get this busted? Wow. I see. All right. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, that's a Duretti. Mom Spaghetti. None of these cards are that impressive, so that's good. Okay, that's fine. Just Yep. I don't know what's going on. Looks like a storm deck with frantic search and lots of manas.
we had one more land here, we can actually go survival. Actually, this is pretty good because we can just play Dryad here. And eventually we can go sneak attack and then we can go survival, discard, like Crater Hoof, get Emrakul. Sure. Land? Looking for lands here. Okay. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Maybe we should have just gone five to the face there. Um, yeah, so next turn we should be able to sneak attack for a million. Ugh. I mean, presuming they don't win with their four cards in hand. Which is quite possible. Treasure Cruise is actually fine if they're spending two mana on it, because that's basically like, it's like nothing. So now they have five mana. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we just win the game here. Or this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. So this is eight. I think we should have used Wall of Roots at the end of their turn. I think it's just got to be Emrakul here, right? Actually, oh, it can't, can't undo that, huh? Okay. Sure. <laughs> that doesn't do what you think it does. Two green, two green, sneak attack, do do do, do 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 do, dry out into Emrakul, attack your face, <clears throat> I am inevitable. <laughs> Man, looking this ancient grudge in the main deck is looking spicy. I almost wish we had more artifact removal, but fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> the Thanos comments are real. Um, it's not an exciting hand by any stretch, but we're on the draw. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll risk it for the biscuit. Let's just draw sneak attack, huh? Wow. Mana Vault and Grim Monolith and Worn Power Stone and a Mox. Talk about living the dream. I have a bird. Yep. 
Oh my Jesus, that was a good draw. <laughs> that was juicy. Oh, I guess they can sack this to get their worm coil out. That's pretty good. I guess we can steal the worm coil, though. Yep, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. We have tons of lands to discard. We have a Flame Tongue Kavu to kill the Jace with. Okay, let's get rid of a red and a green here. Play the red. Flame Tongue. Ya boy. So we get to steal the worm coil next turn? Seems good. I'm not an expert, but... Oh, I guess they're probably going to sack it to get their mana vault back. That seems good. Man, what a combo. Okay. Get your little tokies. And we're going to top deck sneak attack. Man, Doretti's been doing work this match. Two moxes. Seems good. Sometimes you have it all. Sneak attack. Copper line gorge. Well, there's still hope. Rafelos and survival. Hmm. <clears throat> So we can discard the Gorge, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana, survival plus activation. One, two, one, two. I think we're actually going to keep... I think we're going to play Rafelos and Sneak. Or Rafelos and Fact here. So we can get rid of these two. Play this guy. Rafelos. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's all the ten mana. Pretty good. I think I think Hunter wants to come back in. Hold on. All right. Gonna go into the combat step. Yeah, we're just gonna let Dak take his beatings. Unfortunately, how much mana do they have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot, too. Um, sure. Give me that sneak. No sneak. Turn to for somebody else's actually could be great. What do we have? One, two, three. I actually want both of these, so I'm going to choose this pile. Both of these are stronger. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, so we can finale for seven. We can get Avenger, which seems pretty good, and keep Crater Hoof in hand. Or we can just risk it for the biscuit and and cast this. Let's 
is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we can definitely create our next turn. We have our fellows. We can create her this turn, but. Actually, what if we just get Primeval Titan here? That seems really good, right? And now I wish I didn't take the three, but... Yeah, we're just going to get Primeval Titan. Um, hmm. I think it's Forest Cradle here. Produces the most mana, right? So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if we hit a land, we can just hard cast Emrakul here. Okie dokie. You got it. And we still have a ton of mana here, so I'm not super concerned with that. Sure. Still one forest gets us there. One piddly forest. That's not bad. No, I don't think a forest would have done it actually because they took a creature. Maybe? It was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, one forest would have done it. But 1, 2, 3, 6. One, two, three. <clears throat> one, two. Yep, two, two, one. I like that. And now we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could crater hoof here for like nine. <sighs> Doesn't do much though. I think we pitch Emrakul and get something for what is this five six? Uh, if, <laughs> yeah. So if we kill the Death Touch Worm, then. Tezzeret just ultimates next turn and kills us. Oh, this also lets us get like Huntmaster, which is pretty sweet because it puts a bunch of blockers on the board. Or we can actually just get Flame Tongue and kill one of the worms. I actually kind of like Flame Tongue here. Maybe. I mean, they have two cards. Yeah, let's get Flame Tongue because it also gives them one less mana. So, what are they going to have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. Uh, we can cut them down to 9. And they get a million from Tezzeret anyway, so that's not great. Uh, 
So they're gonna have what? One, two, three, four attackers. We have five, we have four blockers. <sighs> Only one of the blockers can get through. So if they kill one of our guys, we can go block, 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 take three. So they have to kill two of our guys. Oh, actually, Flame Tongue's going to kill one, and Hunt Master's going to put us to seven, so both of those change. Oh, no, but I have to actually, I tap the bird for it, so. Eh, it's still better than, better than not. So, yeah, still, they have to kill two guys, so that doesn't change anything. And next turn, we still have Crater Hoof, so we'll see if. It's like, I'll go block here, block here, I guess. They might just be digging here, which is reassuring. Keep digging, okay. Oh, we're, oh, oh, this is it. This is the dream. I'm actually just going to chump block here. I don't want them to get two more guys, and having Dragon Lord Tark on the board when we create our is significantly relevant. Oh boy, so we just get to play Greater of here? Or do we get to play that? Um, one, two, two th this is four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Are we shy? Are we one shy? Forest, we have four forests. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Nope, it's exact. And bird. Is that good? <laughs> like, I don't know. Is that good? Um, No. You got it. I mean, that's still totally fine. And next turn. Wait, it can't be countered. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty wild. Emrakul literally can't be countered. It's 15 mana. Jesus, can you imagine if they dazed an Emrakul? Raging Ravine, Copperline Gorge. Raging Ravine and Copperline Gorge. Every day. Gonna kill you with this mother trucking dude. Uh, love this hand. Wow, this hand's good. Keep. Turn one goose into turn two wall of roots, Sylvan Library. I guess we shall see who the better green deck is. So what is this? One, two, three. If we play Cobra here, we have one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we'll just play Sylvan Library.
Yep, that guy's a pain in the ass. One, two, three. Well, we definitely want to keep Mox Jet. What's our plan here? Play Cobra. Play a land that's one, two, three, four mana. That doesn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five mana. That doesn't do anything either. We can survival and pitch Cobra. So one, two, three, four, five. This is three. To go get like Flame Tongue Kava, which is actually pretty decent against this idiot. <clears throat> Could also make a food here. Let's play Cobra. Land. Green. Survival. This guy. Oh, that's very good for us. Wow. Um, yeah, okay. We're not going to discard Primeval Titan, that's for sure. We're just going to make a food here. Uh, one. Oh, we got to make a green, huh? Okay. Yep. So I probably did that incorrectly. Flame Tongue. Raffellos. <clears throat> What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the land per turn, eight from the Cobra, nine, ten from the two primeval lands. Unfortunately, we need eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, we can still block a Primeval Titan. I think it's totally fine. Um, you put you on top. I don't think I care about Raffellos here. Green. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get Gaia's Cradle and Raging Ravine. Green, green. Hmm. Dryad. And pass. I'm pretty sure with Sylvan Library and Survival here, we actually are in insane shape. Any creature turns into a crater hoof. And I'm pretty sure I'm blocking with Primeval Titan here. He's done so much work. Yep, that's fine. Yep, you got it. Yep, seems fine. Crater Hoof one time. Or any creature, I guess, is really also fine. Oh, Leovold. That's unfortunate. Guess we're getting in there.
That's pretty brutal. <laughs> oh, man. Leovold. I always forget about Leovold when it comes to Sylvan Library. And then you're like, oh. Yep, Mox. Sounds good. Five, six, seven. Avenger of Zendikar. Cool. Well, still hoping for one creature. That's all we're really looking for here. We can activate this guy. It goes five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually activate this and still play Raging Ravine. Um, make four. Make food. Eat a food. Yum, 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 yum. One creature. You know, that kind of could be a creature, I guess. <laughs> if you really believe. <clears throat> Green, one, two. Two, three, four. Uh, Draga Tree Speaker and Rafelos. Wow, those are some hits. Okie dokie. That is a thing, I guess. Wow. Fucking Leovold and your basically mono green deck really, really, ner really nerfed us there. Leopold is a 5-4. Actually, that's not bad. <laughs> I forgot about the the counters. Here comes Crater Hoof. Ready? I'm ready. Here comes Crater Hoof. Right down Crater Hoof away. They always have it in their hand. Eh, that's actually not nearly as bad as I was expecting, to be quite honest. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's worse now. Interesting. Why do you ask me which two mana to use? Like, I literally have... I guess it's... Alright, Emrakul. Flame Tongue killing Leovold seems good the literal turn after survival comes down. One, two, three, four. Fudge. Well, they do get to draw a card, but now our Sylvan Library is turned on, which is pretty huge. Not dead yet. So this is this is Emrakul. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, this is Emrakul mana for sure. I mean, we just have to like be we're we're, we're one turn behind everything. Like we got Flame Tongue Kavu the turn they. We could have survived. Yep, here we go. It's either Crater Hoof or some fat Eldrazi, but. Yep. Seems good. Guys, Crater or Fellows. God. Perfect turn every time. Literal turn right before we're going to Sylvan Library. They have a Lamog. Sure. That's pretty good. I'm just going to activate this guy. I 
and eat my little cake. Okay. Okay, just that guy? Yeah, I'll take six. That's fine. All right, let's draw one card again. <laughs> I don't think that's going to do it, I'll be honest, but... One, two, three, four. But you know what? Maybe. They're at 12, actually. This guy's dealing like 7 in the air by himself, so... I'm y'all crater hoof. YOLO! Let's do some quick math here. So 12 plus 7 plus 9 plus 9 plus 11 plus 12. 60 damage. Okay, and they have 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus, 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 10. They have 37. They're dead. Yeah, they can't they can't deal with this. This is this is just this is just the end. Yeah, they would have to have 24 power. 24 toughness and they they don't. You're triple blocking this guy? What you taking your plan is to take what? 25? Okay. Sure. God, Crater Hoof's a hell of a drug, man. Uh, so nine, seven, twelve. This is twelve. Four, this is you're taking two from this. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know what none of this matters. All your things are dead. Uh yep, sounds good. Five, four, and two, yep. Four, one, four, yep. Uh, sure. That was Oh, Emrakul next card. Seems good. Seems good. I might want to bring a Renin Six. Like we saw some things that are definitely worth shooting let's put it that way same thing with Mizium mortars actually <sighs> Dak Faden they didn't have a ton of artifacts Frank asking my question again in case it got lost would you ever do a shoot the moon stipulation what is this what I don't know what that is we're not boarding any casualties we're double black is not reasonable <laughs> why are you like this Stop it. Um, I'm going to cut finale. I feel like we have the advantage because we have some red removal. Like, actually, take an ancient grudge and bring in something. Keep Dak Faden, maybe. Yeah, so Jet Goose Drives, so we have to get two out of our three black sources in order to cast Casualties of War. You have to play every card you draft? Maybe. This hands actually seems really good. This Birds of Paradise is going to really just... I think we're just playing this because it lets us play either Dak or Renin Six, along with Tree Speaker on turn two. Okay, that guy's good. Don't really have an answer to it. Okay, that's also good. So, do we just play Wall of Roots?
I mean, it might just be it might just be Dak because we have. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the blue, and we're gonna get rid of actually we'll get rid of blue and tree speaker because now we can play Ren and Six, and get lands back. Oh my god, are we gonna three o six o? Zimini pot. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I think Zimini pot may have left, but that's okay. Oh, dang. That's fine. <laughs> now we get to play Ren and Six and kill that. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, look at that lag. Uh, and next turn we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana for sneak attack and emrakel. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, Zimini Pot is still there. Oh man, it's gonna be amazing. There's very few things they can do against this, short of like making us discard a card. Mind twisting us for three is would be good. Also gets rid of our island, so we can't get it back with Ren and Six. He did. He did. You did say you'd watch how it turns out. I just wasn't sure if you still were there. Are you there, Zimini? All right. Well. That ain't gonna do it. I hope you play something stupid. Oh my god. That's not that's not what you want to do. Buddy. <laughs> oh, we got six perms? <laughs> Sounds good. One, two, three, four, this guy. It's your daddy. Emrakul daddy. Protection from spells. It is your mommy. That's true. Oh, good games. Zimini pot. Friggin' 3060, my dude. Thank you. If they had days, that's fine. Like, we still have Bird of Paradise up. <laughs> so I'm good. I'm game. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. What a much better turnout than the previous Storm deck, unfortunately. But uh, that's the way the cube crumbles. I uh, really appreciate the support, Pot. Thank you so much, dude. Hopefully this is what I hope we smashed with enough big, dumb idiots. And uh, thank you guys for all the support. Be sure, if you're watching on YouTube, to go over to twitch.tv slash Frank4 and uh, subscribe to the channel if you get a chance. Or send a donation, whatever you guys want to do, in order to support the content, because that's how I survive. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.